Howdy folks. It's Sunday night, about 9.25, um, April 19, 2020. This is Linda's countertop. She has, uh, she has stained it and she has four coats of uh, varnish on it. I think she's planning on putting some more on, at least one more coat. One other thing that she did this week is she took the same stain, which is a 50-50 mix of walnut and fruit wood, and she sanded down this kitchen table. This is uh, our kitchen table. We've had it since April 13, 1995. We know because it's written on the bottom of the table when it was built. And anyways, it over 25 years has gotten had gotten very worn. And so last week, one day, she took the palm sander and she sanded it down for quite a while, maybe an hour or two, and uh, she got it down to bare wood. And then uh, she took that same 50-50 mix that she had used on the island and she put it on this oak. And you can see it's a very rich, darker color. And that's because maple doesn't take a stain nearly as well as some of the other woods out there. Um, another thing that's happened in this kitchen recently is um, on Friday, Linda put in the backsplash. It's a subway tile. Uh, the wood that you see there is going to come off. Uh, that's there simply so that we know where the top cupboards will land and the bottom countertop will be. And um, so the bottom countertop will go right underneath the, um, the bottom row of the subway tile, which is at 36 inches off the ground. And the right there, that's 54 inches. So she did that and then today, Sunday, she went through and she grouted the whole thing. Uh, she did a, a white and then mixed in some gray with it. She's getting pretty good at mixing colors. Um, yesterday, which was Saturday, Linda and I, uh, that's the closet door. We put that in. Uh, we installed the jam and then the door. Um, downstairs, we have a door that we're varnishing for this bathroom that will go up on Thursday or Friday. Uh, the last coat will go on on Wednesday. So that's our laundry room. We still have to put doorknobs on all of these, but I've got it closed just, and then we have to put a door stop. Um, because I have a have these jams cut about a quarter inch thicker. Uh, then we're into our master bedroom. This is a door for the master bedroom. And again, I've got to put a door stop and a handle on and then trim. But uh, that's the way it looks. Uh, that's sapwood, they call it, that white. Um, this here is... I think it's three boards. You can see a, a seam there and a seam here. Uh, this is that piece of trim that I made that gets put on once this is in. And then there's just a little bit of a lip here that covers the style. Today, Linda and I, on Sunday, we put in this uh, door to the master bath uh, it's 36 and a quarter wide. We have some fine tuning to do. We've got to put in something at the bottom that'll hold it sort of straight. Um, but uh, because our doors are so big, um, you know, thick, a normal door is one and three eighths. Ours are one and three quarters. What we had to do is... Uh, You'll see this is like silver hardware. And that's because the nuts that they gave to go through this piece here were for a one and three eighths. So I had to go get 
bigger, longer nuts or nuts and bolts. Here what I did, as you see, I put in five washers to give me more space to come out with. Um, on the inside, uh, what I had is you see how these, I did not cut these screws off. I've got to take this one out. I want to put washers on, but uh, on the inside, these bolts right here, you see are cut down pretty close to the nut, whereas over here, they're quite a bit longer. And uh, so what I needed to do is cut that. And I brought up a hacksaw, but uh, that would have taken a lot, of, a lot more effort. And uh, instead, you know, Linda bought a Dremel tool for me um, probably six, seven years ago when she was making purses and I would use it to cut off metal off of typewriters so that it would be bling like for her purses. And so she brought the Dremel tool up and I can tell you that it's quite an effective tool. Uh, it took, I just cut it, I cut these very close as compared to this which is the other side that I haven't cut. And I was able to cut this and this one, probably in a minute's time. Um, it's just a remarkable tool and it has a pretty flimsy cutting blade, but it certainly does the trick. Now, what, one thing we'll do is I am gonna line this area with a, um, a wood jam because this door, I would, I wish it was a bit bigger. So I'm going to make the doorway itself a little bit smaller. And I think what I will do is uh, when I'm fine tuning this, I'll have a piece down at the bottom to hold that door tighter to the wall. I'll take into account the uh, um, baseboard that we'll have. So, uh, you know, probably another hour's worth of work and I'll have this done. We have another door downstairs. It's a slider for the closet. Um, we'll put that on and um, that'll probably go on uh monday or tuesday so you know right now i have five door frames out in the in my car i have to get them out of there and we'll uh over the next five days because i figure i'll make a door a day um you know putting the panel in this is the panel and then putting this trim piece all the way around because this actually holds this. It's the, the one on the, this piece on the back gets glued to the frame and it's the backer holding this. And then this one goes in and this is, this holds it so that it doesn't pop out. So I'll do that uh, one a day. It takes me about five or six hours to do, but uh, you know, it certainly gives a nice, um, a nice little trim detail. So, uh, you know, uh, knowing what we know now, uh, to get a bigger opening, which we could do, what we would have to do is take our trolley hardware and we'd have to move it over more. Uh, And uh, because you see what stops this is when this 
trolley piece hits this rubber. So if I move it over more, another, it's two and three quarters inches. If I moved it right up to here, I'd get two and three quarters inches more opening in here, uh, which would probably be half of this style. Uh, actually, it would be half. I don't know that we'll need that much space. Linda and I aren't that huge, but I've built these doors big enough to be able to get a wheelchair in. And if we ever are in a wheelchair, we'd probably just have somebody come and take the doors off for us. Um, but uh, anyways, that's our door making, all that work over the months, and this is where we are. So we're real pleased with it. Thanks for following our progress.